I think at the moment it's the internet of things and just the growth of devices that are connecting on our fabric. So we need to accommodate the, the changes and, and try and grow to meet the demands of you know, the people using the network. We've got network segmentation project and we're trying to actually work out how we deal with our scientific data and also how we deal with our corporate data and people on site in Antarctica, how we deal with the, um, the personal usage of internet and ICT um, in their own downtime. Some of the high speed data transfer that we require uh, to support a number of international programs, particularly the Copernicus program uh, from the European Space Agency. So we're a um, changing group at Deakin. We've gone through quite a, a, a significant change in the last year and we're really aiming towards the automation and security side of things. Those are both very challenging areas. Um, we think we've got a good foothold and certainly from the discussions that we've got through today, it's been really quite good for Deakin and for ourselves. I, I think all of us are facing similar challenges and so we've just had the Theta conference in New Zealand which is the higher education conference across Australasia. So there were about 650 people came to that, all representatives from nearly all the universities in Australia. And again, people have got similar challenges, whether it's funding, student retention, uh, ethical hacking, uh, supporting researchers to do their work, the fact that we're both at the bottom end of the world. I mean, I think Australia and New Zealand have traditionally shared those, uh, those challenges. I don't think anything that we have in New Zealand is markedly different to what's happening in Australia. Uh, greatest networking challenge for RMIT at present would be connecting researchers to the internet. Um, their requirements um, basically are based around security. They want open access, everybody in the world to get to them, yet we have to balance that against the uh, university requirements of security and yeah, that sort of thing. The greatest networking challenge that I face as a, uh, a consultant in, in the research IT side of networking is the university that I'm working at is uh, putting together a significant uh, research instrument and what we've determined is that we need to use national facilities for our computation and storage but we're talking about petabytes of data and how are we going to actually capture this data transfer it across the network and make use of these national facilities. So we're really, really pleased that we can sit down and, and talk to the Arnet people and some of our peers to try to solve some of these uh, really complicated network challenges. The biggest challenge we have is really just keeping an eye on what's actually going on. Um, we've got, you know, 500 switches. It's a smaller network than a lot of campuses, but at the same time, you know, even just a small problem with latency from one area to another can cause problems for people's services and tracking that down and being able to proactively deal with it before the problem actually comes to the notice of anyone else is really what we want to try and do. So from a networking perspective, some of the, the challenges that the sector is faced with are around security, uh, trying to try to drive research outcomes and, and operations of the university in a secure way. Uh, is becoming increasingly difficult, um, but the universities are, are throwing the necessary resources at that, uh, and, and it's opportunities as well to, to be able to achieve those outcomes uh, and, and create new solutions that, that perhaps don't exist today.